is a for sale by owner sign we just went by. Oh, yeah. going on in the church over here. Well, we passed some small handbill kind of things in windows that may have been for rent. I'm not sure what they were, but there were two properties we just went by. There's another one for sale sign on the corner here. They may have been rentals and you may have been able to see them if you were closer up on a bike or something. Right, we just passed Portland. I'm going to take this all the way up to Armitage. Like the homes here are only on the western side of the street. Still have white industrial on the eastern side. Seeing some uh, for sale signs over here, but nothing for rent from what I can see. All right. So we've reached Armitage, again, right across from us, you can see the expressway. In fact, this is the off-ramp right in front of us. We're westbound on Armitage at this point. Next street is Wood. We're heading south on Wood. Here's a for rent sign. All right. All right. I just had to take some still shots of a home that's from what I would call the Tinley Park Revival School of Architecture. Okay, so right up here to... I got thrown out of a house in Winnetka for referring to one that way. <laughs> Over here to our right, uh, we're going to come up on a couple of places they're listed on the MLS. In fact, uh, oh, that's not one of them. There's a for rent sign right here. There's one right, right to my right, right too. Okay, the one immediately to your right, 1922 North Wood, is a two-bedroom, one-bath priced at 1400 a month. And then uh, the next home over, which would probably be, uh, what, 1920, um, has a sign out front as well. There are actually three in a row here. I uh, just talked about 1922, then 1918 would be the one that also had a sign out front. And 1914, uh, Northwood Street number two, is a three bedroom, two bath, priced at 2400 a month. Conveniently located on the alley. All right. Another Colwell Anchor for sale sign off to our right. So we're on wood. We're heading south, just crossing Portland. Water for sale sign, another mansion esque property on two lots off to the right. Joe, when you were looking in Chicago, did you look in this neighborhood when you were looking around? Um, to be honest, I moved into an apartment that was our, that my friends were already living in. Ah, so. so you didn't really look very much. No, I didn't have to, thankfully. In fact, the two times I've lived in the city, uh, I've taken over apartments from friends, so. I've been lucky. Uh, whoa, look, at, look what we have there. What is that's, that? Uh, that's one of those uh, facade restoration, okay. re renovation, and everything new being built behind it. All right. Construction fence. I'm going to get out and take a closer look. A couple of homes for sale on the east side of the street. For the most part, what I'm noticing, at least from the homes that are listed on the MLS, 
uh, the homes for rent you'll find in the uh, 1700 and 1800 blocks. Uh, the 1600 blocks, uh, from what I've noticed, especially as you get closer to Damon, tend to be where you get a lot of your uh, newer single family homes. And uh, probably, I don't know, might not find as many homes for rent. Cute little green worker's cottage still left there. Lime green. We don't see too many of those anymore. No. Here is a for rent sign. Okay, it's not on the MLS? Not on the MLS. I'm going to hop out and take some photos. And okay. at home, Joe. Uh, which I'll flash up on the screen when we get back. Had a handicapped parking permit space in front of it. And something I rarely see, an actual uh, car with handicapped plates parked in front of it. <laughs> I've seen blocks on the south side of the street where every 20-22 uh, feet is a separate handicapped permit zone. So I've turned off of Wood onto North Avenue. We are heading west. We are heading toward uh, the sixth corner intersection of North Damon and Milwaukee. With a great tower up ahead. Created by a loon who decided that the loop was overcrowded and that the central business district of the city would reconstitute itself. The corner of Milwaukee, Damon and North. Hasn't happened yet, but there's still time. Still time. It's an ever-changing city.